steel bars, come on. Hello. Hello, Dan. How's it going? Uh, it's going. I am so tired. <laughs> oh, no. All the shopping where you out? Yeah. yeah. You know, the shopping and running around. Yeah, I don't like it much either. Currently doing some dirt relocation, trying to prep for farming. Yeah. 
bringing the truck that done earlier finishing the road up here it was full of dirt but might have some more room left in it for more dirt i just got a wheelbarrow right now trying to fill in the spot between the two uh between the two existing fields and the new um the the, pat, the kind of hill across from it. I can't get up there with the truck anyway because it doesn't move. I forgot that you're all elevated and such. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a problem trying to get in. I might have to destroy my one my one field. I'll get you to take a look at it and see what you think for building ramps, maybe. Might have to move my one stockpile in front of the house to get the tractor up here, and then put it back later. Well, I mean, we've already got the uh, the ramp that goes across to that desert. We can just build another ramp that comes over here. Just bridge. use the bridges? Yeah. Yeah, that would work. We can put a bridge, like, right... Right here, yeah, going across like that. How close to uh, the electrical book are we? Um, still far away. I haven't even started working on that stuff yet. Yeah, I didn't do any of it earlier today. I figured I didn't have enough time to do any of it before church. So I just uh, worked on the roads and, uh, and such over at the, the desert. Yeah. I think I used all the slag, though, finally. So. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Got your, do you have your axe with you? You want to take down this tree? Sure. Ooh, it's an oak. Them is my favorites. They get lots of wood. Eventually, I can whittle away at this hill and maybe uh, expand further, but. I figure for now, I'll just steal all the dirt off of it. I got a wheelbarrow over here that I'm using to Yeah, I can't use it. It's red. Is it? Uh There you go. Ooh. Just be careful you don't end up putting clay in. At least in, in place of the farm. So far it's just been dirt. We really need those backups. Why did they make it so far away? What's that? The track, the backhoe, the oh. front loaders. Yeah, I know. He's so nice.
Turkeys are mocking me. <laughs> they do do that. get the wood out of my way as well. That's weird. Those are not. Okay. What's that? There's two pieces of wood up on the, the hill up there that I can't interact with. They need to uh, be split again. <clears throat> I can't even split them. I tried to highlight them with my axe, and it wouldn't highlight either. Let's me pick them up. Okay, we'll go try to pick up. The ones right there next to you, they aren't the ones I was talking about. Uh oh. Oh, they're not here anymore. Here. Oh, well. Here, these, these two right here. Is there, oh, okay, that one is sliceable now. This one still says slice. I try to slice and it won't slice. There, try it now. You gotta hit it on there the side. Goes. I find that it's, it's a little, little tricky. Can't just hit it on the end. Oh, okay. That makes no sense, but whatever. I know. <laughs> like we told you to slice it, not split it. I 
I'm not playing. Whatever. Let's throw it to it. Nope, I won't. Yeah. Let's put it to it for now. It was such a nice day outside today, too. Really wish I wasn't running around like I did, though. I really should have been home cleaning the backyard and burning stuff. But... <laughs> mm. You didn't get any time to, to play around at home? Nope. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It was nice to get out, hang out with my brother, though. Make the kids do it when they come over. Oh, they're supposed to be over tomorrow to clean the uh, the kitchen and the living room, so I might actually have them help me out back. They usually love doing uh, fires. Yeah, my nieces aren't really much of the outdoors type. Oh. Unless it's Disney World. Or Disney related, they don't want to be outside. Oh or no! Swimming pool. <laughs> I think there's more and more of that these days. Yeah. Not like it was back when I was a when I was a kid, and we basically we'd get up at seven eight o'clock in the morning, eat breakfast. Go outside, be outside, run in the neighborhood until lunchtime. Come home, eat lunch. As soon as yeah. lunch is over, we go back out, play until dinner. Yeah, exactly. Came home, ate dinner. Went back outside, ate until the sun, come home, go to bed. <laughs> yeah. We would try to we would try to sneak to bed without taking a bath. Parents <laughs> always say, "No, no, no, go take a bath." But I'm too tired. Yeah. <laughs> How did that fill up? Yeah, I was talking to Isaac the other day, and I was picking on him because of his age. He said he said something about uh, something I grew up. It was a uh, what was it? it was a uh, I can't remember what it was now. He was talking about some old timey thing from when I was a, a kid, and I'm like, "Well, I'm surprised you even know about that." He goes, "I'm old enough to know about that stuff." <laughs> you know, it's, you know I, I was alive when smartphones first came out. I I know what dial up is, and I know what uh, I know what home phones are, or landline phones. I'm like, yeah, but do you know what a pulse phone was? <laughs> he said, a what? I'm like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's pulse? I'm like, that's before dial tone existed. That's back when the uh, it was a rotary phone, and you basically dialed the uh, when you dialed zero, you heard. <laughs> and when you dialed oh, a nine, yeah. you hear nine clicks, and then <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, I wasn't around for that." <laughs> <laughs> when you misdialed a, uh, a seven digit or a. 11 digit number you're like oh no i gotta start all this yeah yeah those were fun sort of <laughs> nostalgic yeah kind of, you know, back in the day when we had one phone in the house and it was actually a rotary phone sitting on the kitchen wall 
<laughs> with a 25, we thought we were something. We got a 25 foot cable coming out of it to to, to stretch the uh, phone into a different room. But it used to be like a shoot, what a what was a three foot cable coming out of it that basically made you sit right there at the phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Yeah, all your phone calls had to be done right at the phone. Yep. I remember working at Radio Shack when cell phones first came out. We got the big bag phone and the, the car phone that mounted in cars. And... Yeah, we had one of those bag phones. I had so... one of those bag phones too. I actually bought it when I was at Radio Shack. Got it for a penny. It was the only thing that could uh, that would actually um, connect up here. The service it was the only thing that had enough Ooh. power. For the longest time. Yep. Yep. I even had a regular pager, and then I had a two-way pager eventually. I got a two-way pager when I worked for the uh, the government. Okay. That was always fun. And a few years later, I got uh, what did they call this thing? It was a. Uh, I can't remember the, the the brand now. I think they're still out, but it was the uh, was before BlackBerry became a thing. They had uh, they had phones with uh, two way radios built into them. It was a cell phone with a two way radio in it. Okay. Nothing annoyed me more than sitting in my uh, room watching TV and watching a movie. And next thing I know, my phone's beeping. I look over at it. Somebody's two way messaging me from work. I'm like, really? <laughs> what annoyed me even more is when they actually did they didn't use the call feature on it which you're supposed to do out of uh, courtesy you're supposed to push the button to, uh, to notify somebody that you actually were wanting to do a two way conversation with them okay but we had one guy that was bad about basically just picking up his his two way cell phone and he would basically transmit and say hey Pick up your phone. I ain't talk to you. <laughs> Basically, message them back saying, "Yo, I'm a little busy." Okay, let's yeah. um, let's move over to the, the far side and try and flatten that out. I'm still flattening up. Okay, I might have to steal the wheelbarrow. They hit the turtle. Oh, right over the turtle. You can't even run them over. Yeah, and uh, I was trying to run over wolves over in the desert with the, the car, and I'm like, this just isn't right. So I'm just digging one down so we can fill it with dirt. Uh, oh, you mean instead of the yeah, you'll need to get rid of the rock, get rid of all the rock, and put dirt in it. So yeah, yeah. Inventory's full. Come on. I <laughs> need to learn to carry more. Well, you have the power. You can make it happen. 
Yeah. If I ever find the numbers for the spot for it. You found it once. <laughs> 59 out of 60. I guess I'll go ahead and dump these off too. Well, as soon as I click on something else, I want to say there's not just one rock there. Oh boy. Oh. Um, need to go make some glass. No, the shovel broke. <sighs> if I was in a desert, they didn't want to hold this. Okay, I'm going to run over and make glass out of some of this stuff so that can work on the uh, advanced tag stuff and it'll oh. it'll help eat up some of the inventory all right uh, modules not that one that one nope not there oh I think I went cooking yeah You probably need more quick line soon too, eh? Uh, yeah, I think I'm out. Although I'm not, I'm actually not making the, I'm not putting the asphalt in the desert. I'm just putting the square with stone roads up there to get deeper. Okay. The the asphalt I'll put down here between our base, our bases. I figure that makes more sense. Eventually, we can always upgrade later. To the asphalt, but I don't think, I don't think we really need to use the resources right now for it. Right. So I can't destroy a truck line, so that's weird. You can't what? Can't do anything with this crushed limestone. What do you mean? It oh, it's crushed. I think that's why. Let's try to pick up the crushed limestone to put. You gotta dirt use, down. use your shovel. 
Yeah, I realized that after I clicked on it and it says, nope, you're already carrying something else. Fish posh. I was always complaining about something else being carried. Pretty much. I need to make you some of those uh, bigger um, stock, stock piles. piles. Yes. Yep. I agree. That you can replace the uh, two you have outside with them. Those things are a lot of crap. <laughs> I need to put my put one on my roof. A couple on my roof. Uh, it's 12 by 12, so I don't know if you'll be able to put them on yours. I'll make room. Alright. I'm stone. He crushed. Back and I'm going back to the base real quick to make uh, a couple of square. Make what? Uh, make Make a couple of those for you. There's a very large number. Mm. Oh, wow. Because you're out of room. I'm tired of it saying it's bent and full. I'm trying to find a different one. <laughs> I know. It's very annoying. Problem is, is actually trying to find a place to put everything in the ones and pick that up and put one down that's place. Two of those making for you right now. Three minutes. Are they pretty uh, hefty cost to make, or are they decent? You know, not bad. I mean, it's uh, one of them is uh, twenty lumber and fifteen wood boards. Okay. I mean, it's, it's not too horrible. Oh man, I can't stop yawning. You should, you'll make me sleepy. horrible thought that we're actually pulling we weren't going to meet up we were one off or something it's like no 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 I'm sure I worked this out 
I looked at it. I am not looking forward to going back to work today. Which day? Monday? Monday. Well, you don't get Monday off? No. We got today off for Good Friday. Okay. They don't they don't get Easter off. It falls on a it falls on a weekend. Right. Some big uh, uh, CVE criticality came out for for VMware virtualization servers. Yeah. On Friday, one of the other architects told management that uh, his recommendation to upgrade our, our entire cloud environment. Ooh, fun. Yeah. But he has nothing to do with anyway. It's actually my responsibility, so. <laughs> he sends me an item saying, hey, they're throwing a fit about this and they want me to upgrade. I recommend we upgrade. I'm like, we can't. Stop telling people this stuff without talking to me first. So I had to actually send management an email Friday saying, yeah, we can't upgrade. Here's why we can't upgrade. Gave them the reason. We actually have appliances running that are not compatible with the new version. Oh. So we we risk them crashing if we upgrade, which will take customer environments down. Yep. Which they never thought about. They're like, oh, well, we didn't think about that. And no, then why would you think a, about that? Yeah. <laughs> we have a a CISO, which is a uh, they're the uh, chief information security officer. Yeah. He said, well, since we can't apply this, but he actually sent an email. My, uh, Friday night, around 8 or 9 o'clock. I actually read it. Not Friday, this is Friday. Thursday. Jeez. I actually read it. I read it this morning. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Because <laughs> he actually sent my boss's boss's boss, my boss's boss, my boss, and me an email saying, or actually his boss, his his direct two of his direct reports as well. Yeah. Saying, well, my recommendation that we actually follow the uh, the workaround for this since we can't do this. And I'm like, have you actually have you looked into doing the workaround for this so that we're actually protected? I haven't actually had the, the I haven't had the energy to reply back to one. The workaround is worse than the upgrade. Oh no. The upgrade knocks out six systems. The workaround is us telling 300 customers that we have to reboot 800 machines. Oh wow! And reconfigure and reconfigure those machines. Oh, who's, that's gonna take some time. That, who's sending that email out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm like ignoring it right now. Going, man, I was replied Monday. I don't feel like dealing with this. Yeah. Unless, unless, unless the VP of managed services or the director actually calls me and says, "Hey, can you reply back to his email?" I can just tell them directly, going, "No, here's why." Oh, but yeah, my. it's like, oh my gosh, that's the stupidity I got to deal with. You know what we need? Like, we... Do a workaround. Don't you think I would have already said there's a workaround that we're going to apply? I want to crush stone pit. There should be some sort of thing that I can put down that'll hold crush stone in a bigger pile than 15. Well, here's here's the two. Where you at? I'm digging and filling. I'm going to put 
Well, first off, we really need to like consolidate or move some of your stuff around so we can get rid of uh, one of your stop files, so we can put the bigger one in. Yeah. Well, I'm so working. On, your... I'm working on tur turning it into glass, which should compile an awful lot of my okay. crushed stone. All right. So there's two of them in the. Uh... The Igleman's stockpile, which I think is the one on your roof. I would swear to it. I think we uh, need I to think rename I, those things the, the one on that, the roof. <laughs> uh, well, one of them is the roof stockpile, but when I move the oh. other one, it, it kind of... Oops. Yeah, okay. Ooh, I don't know where that piece of stone went. It went down. Yeah, I've had some weird, weird things happen. Okay, I'm gonna go see. My glass is apparently done. I, think I need to go make some more sand. Yep. So. I think the one, I think what you're talking about is a silo. I found I found that I can actually make a silo. I think that's the one that actually holds the crust. Let me go look at it. I can make it. I thought now that was just well. just crops, but that might be. Oh, okay, that you're right. That was actually fertilizer and crops. Hey, Alpha, how's it going? Uh, see. We're making farmland. Yeah. Storage, storage silo. It's four by four by eight, and it actually holds uh, crops, seeds, and fertilizer. Right. That would be handy. Yeah. You know, the only big thing I can actually make is those. This this uh, stockpile that I already made two up for you. Right. I don't have anything right. that's actually designed just for stone. And even though it's called a lumber stockyard, the stockpile, it holds everything. It doesn't have a limit on what you can put in it. Right. I mean, okay. It holds it holds dirt, stone, crushed rock, whatever. So you have two of those that we can that we can place and make some room for you. Sounds good. Then right. start piling stuff in those. They go pretty high up, too. Digging. Jump over all these trees you got laying down around the base. <laughs> Apparently, I can't jump over a file, which makes no sense whatsoever. You jump over a tree that's twice the size, but I can't jump over the pile. It's the handles. Must be the handle, okay. Must be getting stripped up on a handle. This thing. Uh, what, are you, what are you in a wheelbarrow for? You put up the carts. <laughs> they hold more and they're easier to move. That's what I had. <laughs> wheelbarrow drive me nuts. <laughs> well, they're really handy in the uh, in the little one by two uh, tunnel that I was making. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm moving moving some stuff again. I'm 
move some dirt around here. Really wish the truck had a path up. The truck holds a crap ton of dirt. <laughs> Does the tractor have a fertilizer attachment? Yeah. Ooh. And the, uh, I think. No. Actually, I think it has a sower, harvester, and plow. Ah. It only has three. Looks like we got a whole bunch of sand now. Forty one seconds for that job to be done. I can make more glass. Actually empty out inventory faster. I'm pumping out the glass to your everything stockpile. Yeah. Like, Why eventually oh, Eventually I end up using that glass for the advanced tag stuff that you need for electronics.
<laughs> you throw <it> something. <laughs> you might what? Looks like your character is trying to throw something. Hey, this is supposed to be a farm. <laughs> I'm stuck. You gotta jump like multiple times to let you out of it. Hey, I have jumped multiple times. <laughs> my, my my feet are stuck in the in the thing. It's not letting me push either. <laughs> I just like kept jumping and turning left and right and all that stuff until finally like shimmed me out. Well, you could actually pick us up and put it closer to your base. I don't know if I have room. We can make room for it real quick. That's what I did. So, you would need 12, so this would be 1. Twelve would be right here. So twelve long ways starts here. Are you looking to put it up there? Oh. No, no, that, yeah. that that looks good. I'm just um uh, checking my time around my job. So I can start crunching more stuff. Well, this way would be here. Oh god. Uh, all right. So this. Uh, This stockpile will have to go. Your crushed rock one. Okay. I'm working on it. It's a bunch of copper concentrate here. Let me get rid of that real quick. Wait, what? Oh, that was dumb.
All I heard was Tim. <laughs> really? A tree fell right in my way. Wasn't you? What? Um. Chopping a tree down, isn't it? No, it was it was more of the bison that was. No. Oh. He's up on my roof now. Oh. What is it with them and roofs? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna go. He's leaving. Have like another hundred and some odd copper bars. Which is good because we'll need a whole bunch for the electronics. Yep. for you too. Put it in there. I'm trying to empty stuff. Or in there. I'm trying to empty stuff.
Oh, wait. How many? <gasps> you can stack up to 120? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? In your um, big storage, the stacks are bigger. Yeah. Oh, did you already put one down? No. I mean, yeah. Where at? Oh, it's somewhere near your place. Uh. I'm I'm moving bars and of iron over. You can stack them up to like 120. Yep. Not everything stacks that high, but there's some stuff that actually stack higher. Man. This area is almost empty where you can actually put it here, except for your crush. Okay. Just chop down the last tree. Try and find all the places it tried to stick quick lime in. I feel like there was more. There it is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> It's been throwing quick lime into my research chest. Is the crushed rock one that I gotta get stuff out of? Yep.
Empty. Empty. All right. Pop down here, pick it up, and then uh, see what we can do. Oops. This area should be 12 by 12. Okay, let me just pop this on and make sure it doesn't output to the crushed rock. Okay. Craft more sand. What? <laughs> we were at Costco walking around, and brother and my sister in law went into the uh, the freezer to look at the dairy products. I walked in there and I looked at him and I'm like, my body hurts. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> that room was so cold it instantly made my arthritis mad. I'm like, oh, I cannot stand in here at all. Even with the big opening in the uh, the wall for you to walk in, yep. cold air was like not evacuating that room fast. and It was so cold in that room. It was, I mean, it was truly a walk-in freezer where the door doesn't close. Oh, wow. It had It had to have been at least like 10 degrees Fahrenheit in there. So basically, from where I stand is 12 that way and 12 that way. So move out of your way so I'm not blocking it from the input now. If that tree right there is on the way, I can remove it too. But that will this one here that I'm standing next to should not be in the way. There we go. Uh that looks smaller. Is that twelve by twelve? Oops. Well, it's got a lot of space yeah, in it. It's the large, it's the large one, so yeah, well, that should be it. And if we have to, we can clear another twelve. That a way to put another one down next to this one. Yep. All right, start moving stuff over. <laughs> Uh, I did put a lot of stuff in like the canoes and stuff just to get it out of the way and, and whatnot. Well, if you put all of the rock stuff in here, I'll uh, I'll work on making glass and whatever out of it. I don't know what all I put in. Mean, I think I put like uh, not just rock. I, I, just, put... I just mean as we make stuff. Uh, okay, I'm going to go and make some advanced tag stuff so the glass doesn't build up. What about crushed granite? You want it in there? Yep. Because it'll actually stack uh, th 30, probably, instead of 15. All the crushed stuff should go in there. Yep. <gasps> really? Three steel bar, 10 rivets, and a basic research tag, and I can start getting 10% off on... How much for that? 25% off of research papers would be amazing. Five steel gear. Culinary. Oh, stink. I bet I could do this one. A rivet. 
10 rivets and three steel bars. I need for steel bars. Iron bars. Quick lime and crushed coal. Oh, I gotta get to advanced smelting too? Come on. There. All your crushed stuff is in the uh, Lord's Cup fire. All right. And you still have a crap ton of space. It's like, the bad thing about this is everything fits in there. Or the good thing about this is everything fits in there. The bad thing is, looks like you ain't got a lot of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go find some coal. I haven't yet to find any. Well, it's down in the shale mine. I think I did find some in the first mine that I built, which is basically underneath the uh, settlement room or building. Yeah, that's. I would imagine that's where you found some. I don't know if I even dug it up. I think it's probably still down there. I don't know what Oh, look, cool. Don't need that yet. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> now we do. <laughs> Yeah, 
I don't understand why you can actually dig up only three with the the iron shovel. But if you pull stuff out of the wheelbarrow, you can pull out 30. Wait, you can dig up three with the iron shovel? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, iron shovel is three. I think the steel one's like five, maybe four or five. I don't know. I don't have a steel one yet, so I couldn't tell you. But I'm sure that it'll give you even more. Yeah. But it's it's still silly that when you pull stuff out of the wheelbarrow, you pull it out in stacks of 30. There's tailings, too. I do still have a whole bunch more tailings to make into stuff. Come on.
Oh, I can make charcoal out of wood. Make charcoal steel. Same difference, really. animals are mocking me. <laughs> I know I'm not hunting them right now, so they're right over here in my face. Bunch of turtles walking around. Bunch of buffalo. Bunch of jaguars. It's amazing how often they do that, eh? Yeah. I was gonna get a a level up for my smelting. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. But no, <laughs> it was just a character level up. I can learn another skill. <laughs> yeah.
I was advanced smelting. Ding. Right. That means I can make it root. Which means that I can then make a modern upgrade for our stuff, like the lab, which will give 10% off of papers and books. It's getting dark outside, is it? Not yet. No? It's probably soon. It feels like it's getting darker in the mine here. Yes, definitely. I guess it's 
Say what? I guess the sun is going down. I wouldn't pay attention to it. I was in the middle of the forest chopping trees down. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely getting hard to see anything here. Get the last of this coal out of here. Oh, come on, one more. Ten rivets. Of course, they're made in batches of three. Oh, come on. Seriously. Well, I need one basic research tag. Hmm.
Oh, well, we dropped some of the requirements down a bit. I can get one more research paper made, but I need a culinary research paper advanced. Wait, what's that? Wait, there should be tons of glass in there. Oh, there it is. Simmered meat and baked meat. Or baked vegetable and a salad tag. Oh my goodness, I can make these. Oh, joy. Oh, it's agriculture. Advanced. Is that the one that sucks? No, agriculture modern. Culinary research paper advanced. Research paper modern. This one's just advanced. 
Metallurgy paper advanced. Oh my. That'll help save some material. Hmm. Are you expanding the bridge? No. No. Not yet. I mean, I plan on to eventually. I didn't know what you're working on. Well, digging your farm out, your farmland out. Yeah. That's an excellent job, too. I, I just found getting, out getting a little bored of it though. <laughs> I I think I can make the forty percent decrease um advanced modules. Which should save us right. a pile of resources for making all that stupid iron. Hmm. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done. I think I can make the baked tomato. they were planning on making corn annoying. It only produces three per stock or for, per uh, plot that you plant. Everything else is like producing six.
it's almost one o'clock. I think it's time for bed. Don't want to do a two or three o'clock at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, man. No problem. I don't think it could anyway. I think I've already fallen asleep twice. Yeah, this is going to be nice farmland. Yeah, there's uh, some rocks that need to be mined out now. Yeah. I suppose I should make a, a limestone uh, wall along the side so I don't fall into the river. <laughs> Is it tomorrow or Sunday that you're having your dinner? I can't Sunday. remember. Oh. Yeah, it's Sunday. Tomorrow I'll be cleaning, cleaning the backyard up. Right. I'm learning some. So I'll probably be on and off every now and then. Tomorrow we're supposed to go for uh, lunch. At the shores, they're having an Easter special, so, so that would cool. take, be nice to try and take Dad out to get him out of the house. Yep. Even though he doesn't eat much anymore. Last time we took him out for their special dinner, he had a Plate of fries, like, uh, it's just not, not my dad. I see how you are. You bring a wood card over and lock me out of it.
if you're talking at me, I'm not hearing you. Hey. I was actually. I said that's okay because there's a there's a cart behind my base that I'm locked out of too. Is there? Yeah. When I was putting that one down, I was like sitting there telling myself, make sure I make sure I change authorization on it so you can use it. I still forgot to do it. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> But it's changed now. You can get in it. Thanks. Oops. I was wondering what advantage the uh, iron shovel would be. Mm. I kind of like it. Yep. Less, less turning around. Still sucks that it's only three. But. Like I said, it still doesn't make sense how you pick stuff up from the wheelbarrow and the, everything else. It, 30 stacks, but yeah, you can't dig 30 stacks. Yeah. I don't even use this bridge anymore. <laughs> this is what we got to use to get the tractor over, right? Yeah, I'm about to expand it. Could put a ramp on it instead of the stairs, but yeah. It will be. Hey. What? Helping you out. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, a turkey. The torment me and me around over here.
Nice. That'll be a nice big farm patch. Yeah. Well. What are you gonna be? What are you gonna be growing over here? Uh, probably a lot of corn and beets. Um, eventually, I think I need um, wheat for bread for my uh, modern farm or culinary. I need salad and baked uh, vegetable tags. All right. I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good sleep. Yep, I'll talk at you more. Sounds good. See you. Night.